Should I increase my DoorDash acceptance rates? I have been a cherry picker for a long, long time, and I've really just only accepted orders that made sense for me, trying to find the really high value orders. But now I've been seeing a lot of people increasing their acceptance rate because they think it's gonna give them better orders. Well, in this video, I might try to accept more. I mean, I'm still gonna be running Uber Eats, trying to find the best possible order, but if there are decent DoorDash orders, I may be accepting a little more than usual. So I got this first one here for $7 for Walgreens. Looks like I just have to pick it up. It's a prescription of some sort, and then we're gonna drive it two miles to the customer. I think this was my second order I got today, so I just declined one, and then we got this one. That was a pretty decent order. All I had to do is pull up to the drive-thru. I wasn't sure if I could use the drive-thru or I had to go into the store because I don't think I've ever had a pharmacy order for Walgreens or at least that location on DoorDash and so I just went through the drive-thru it was pretty easy pretty quick and then I was on my way and we got it dropped off there was no tip on that one I don't know if the customers can even tip on these uh, Walgreens orders but I mean it's just seven dollars is pretty decent not too bad not too I mean, I still think it was a good order. And now we just uh, see what we can get. It pulled me a little bit out of my zone, and so I'm gonna have to drive back, and we'll see what the first one is. That order was just terrible. It was not good at all. $9 for 9.8 miles. Hi, I have a DoorDash for Pamela. At least there's nobody in the drive-thru. Right, thank you. 4.75, but it's only two miles, and it's dropping us off in a really good spot, so I just decided to go for it. I almost never take orders under $5, but I figured this one, it was all right. And I also think that this is a pretty slow time. It's gonna take about an hour before it starts getting really busy. It only took about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 miles to drive back to this really busy hotspot, or at least when it is busy, this has a lot of orders and I've rejected like six in a row. They just really haven't been good. So we're still waiting. Hopefully a good one comes by, at least a decent one. Like I'll accept a decent one, but a lot of them have just been bad. Oh man, I took a $5 order. This one was on Uber Eats. I just wasn't getting anything on door Dash, and like I said, it's not going to be busy for a little bit. And so I guess I just have to take this. I am definitely not committing to taking these smaller orders, but I mean, $5 for like less than two miles, I can get this done in probably 10 minutes. So I'm just going to take it, try to look for a good DoorDash order and just see where we go from here. I guess I still have the cherry picking roots in me. I probably declined like 20 orders before I got the one that I wanted to accept. It was an Uber Eats offer for $9.10, going a little under four miles. I just, uh, yeah, I had to decline 20 of them just because they were pretty bad. I just like, I didn't want to take them. And then it's actually funny, like as soon as I accepted this Uber order, like five seconds later, I got a DoorDash one for like $20 and it was going like over 10 miles. And I was like, I guess I'll just stick with the Uber order. Cause like at 10 miles, like seven of those are out of my zone. Like I don't think I want to do that because I'll have to drive all the way back in. I honestly want your guys' opinion. Like, have you guys been accepting more orders since like apparently DoorDash is now incentivizing people to be like over 50% acceptance rate or over 70% acceptance rate? Because like, honestly, I think I might go for it if enough people in the comment section uh, say that they're been getting a lot better orders ever since they raised their acceptance rate. So, I mean, just as a test, right? Like, I don't think my acceptance rate's ever been over 20%. I think it's been like really low, like pretty much forever. And so I haven't been, I just haven't been uh, willing to go that much higher just because of all of the bad orders that I see. And those bad orders are gonna be relative. It's gonna depend on your market and how much you're able to make on a really, really good day. I would say like anything that is for sure going to make me under like 15 to $20 an hour, like if it's gonna be under that, like I don't want any part of that. I really just want the good orders. But of course you do have to strategize and be like, okay, how long do I actually want to be waiting in this parking lot? in order to find that amazing offer. I mean, the $9.10 order, I'd say that's pretty good. I, there was a little bit of traffic, but it worked out perfectly, uh, except for the like, customer, they let their dog loose. Uh, like a, they opened the door and their dog ran out and like started jumping on my leg. Uh, I really don't appreciate that, especially if the dog gets excited and starts urinating on the ground, like right next to my foot, like it did, but <laughs> whatever. I mean, we're moving on. I, I can forget about it because we got a really good offer from Uber Eats. This one is over $10. The distance is pretty nice too. So absolutely no complaints for me about this one. Uh, the DoorDash orders, they're just, they're 
they're just not quite there right now. I, I don't know if it's because of my low acceptance rate. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but I mean, it definitely seems like it could be a factor because there's just like nothing going on there. So of course we're gonna take this Uber Eats order, still gonna be looking for those nice DoorDash orders, but we'll just see. Okay, wow, we got that Uber Eats order taken care of. I'm really excited about that one. It was ready in the store and then we drove. There was a little bit of traffic. I mean, that's just kind of how it is. It's rush hour right now, almost five o'clock clock and it was less than four miles total so very excited got the one dropped off we'll see i think there might be a potential to be a little bit more than the 1072 we saw on the acceptance screen and the best part about dropping that off is that i got a doordash order i only declined one offer and it turns out that it was a really good one it's over 11 dollars five and a half miles driving us back to where we want to be for the rest of the night and <laughs> the restaurant that i picked up from on doordash it's across the street so i didn't even have to move my car i just parked in the parking spot dropped off the order and then walked across the street to yogi's grill and it was ready so let's go drop it off for me personally this is why i think as of right now why i just need two apps particularly DoorDash and Uber Eats. It just seems like it's so hit or miss for both of them. Like sometimes one app is giving me really good offers and the other one's doing bad. And then it just like switches all the time throughout my shift. So like, yeah, I got that really nice DoorDash order, got it dropped off. They tipped me $9, that's fantastic. And then they DoorDash just didn't give me good offers. And then Uber gave me a really nice one. So of course I took that. So 1150 for this, like four and a half miles. Yeah, of course. Yeah, why wouldn't I accept that? That, but with DoorDash, like it just is, it just so up and down for both. So, like, I mean, like, yes, if I had a really high acceptance rate on DoorDash, maybe I get like really good offers on there, and I only use one app. But for me right now, two apps is good. I didn't really predict it, but it is what I was talking about. They got that Shake Shack order taken care of, and it was really nice. And then pretty much immediately got a DoorDash order for eleven dollars. It's bringing me to a good area, six miles. I think I only declined like uh, one, maybe two or three, and uh, then we just drove off to the restaurant it was about a six minute drive and as i was pulling into the parking lot i got another order for fired pie and this one was an additional nine dollars of course i'm going to take it that is fantastic so now I'm getting these twenty dollars for these two orders and then maybe we'll move on to a good Uber Eats order after this. Things got a little busy there as a dinner picked up and it didn't slow down for a long, long time. So here I am at the end of my shift and things went, went pretty well. I made like $230, but I did have a quest in there. So if you wanna uh, take that out, cause I worked a lot of the quest yesterday. So without that, we still made over $200 and that's over $30 an hour. Cause I only worked like six hours today. So very very, very solid. I even raised my acceptance rate on DoorDash from 5% to 11%. So let me know in the comments below if you think that the acceptance rate really does matter if a higher acceptance rate is giving you better orders. Because for me, I mean, I know it's a weekend night, but things were really, really solid. Thank you so much for watching. I got a lot more videos coming out a lot faster pace than I have been on this channel lately. So I will see you in the next one.